Remy Cavanaugh, stage three of the Tour of California. Now, you could watch cycling for 100 years, and you'll be hard-pressed to find worse descending than this. He, you know, he's all over the road. He's locking up his brakes. He's got the speed all wrong. His lines are all over the place. He almost crashes like three times. Was it a problem with his disc brakes? It looks like the brakes were locking up on him a little bit. And you know these professionals, they don't want to ride disc brakes, but the manufacturers and teams, they push them on them to try to sell them to the public. Whoa, almost over the guard railing there. That's a little bit of a drop. That one would have hurt. But it looks like he wasn't feathering his brakes properly. He was locking them up. He's shaking the bike out there. And he's not even going fast here is the thing. Was it a problem with the disc brakes? He said after the stage that he'd had a few crashes recently and he was just a little nervous, but you could see him blowing maybe one corner. But to have this bad of a line throughout the entire thing, now, this guy looks like a weekend warrior that weighs about 300 pounds and just bought a new Peter Sagan S-Works bike and is heading down the hill for the first time. Doesn't look like a professional cyclist. See, this corner, it almost got really bad. And I, I think it's a problem with the brakes. Uh, these, pro, these pros, they don't need disc brakes. I rode around 10,000 kilometers last year. Look at this. This is ugly. And there was only one time, I think, that I really wanted to, <laughs> really needed disc brakes. And it was pouring rain and I had carbon rims. But these guys, they don't need it. You know, they're they're harder to maintain. Tire changes are tough. Everything's kind of kind of flipped backwards. And you see the guys that actually have a choice. Um, they go with the rim brakes because they're not as heavy. And another casualty to disc brakes. Will disc brakes be the future for professionals? Uh, they're trying to push it on the public, but uh, I think the uh, I think some of these guys might say enough is enough because. This one was ugly. He's tired, yeah. but I just don't think he's he's at home at the moment on the, on this bike. And again, another difficult yeah. line through these corners. Horrible. We've seen it when we came off. Provided he stays on his bike, he's not happy with his brakes at all. They're squealing all over the place. Yeah, the disc uh, brakes do make a, a bit of noise.